In Regina Hollick, Dr. Graf Gavis, MD, a Texas bariatric surgeon, argues that our obsession with meat is the leading host of numerous health problems. For his own personal transformation story and a whole lot of research, Dr. Davis demonstrated that a whole food plant-based diet with small or no red or processed meats consumption leads to greater longevity and lower rates of disease. In this video, I'll review this book and give you my opinion on why I think this book is a valuable resource for anyone interested in nutrition and health. So stick around for the bottom line and why you should or shouldn't choose to read this book. Let's get started. The evidence. Dr. Davis presents research in three categories. Number one, epidemiological studies. Number two, studies of naturally occurring populations. And number three, clinical experiments. He shows that when taken as a whole, all of this research overwhelmingly supports a whole food plant-based diets with much lower intakes of animal products than what is currently consumed in our nations of proteinaholics. Dr. Davis also takes on common objectives raised by people favoring animal product heavy diets and teaches readers how to be smart consumers and research studies. He does that by teaching you how you can personally interpret certain studies. For example, looking at the study design, looking at sample sizes, looking at potentially industry funded biases of the researchers, etc. The benefits of a whole food plant based diet. The medical literature leaves no doubt that excess animal protein is killing us, and plant based whole foods diets are most healthful and lead to greater longevity and lower rates of all cause mortality. Even if you don't like epidemiological studies, Dr. Davis takes readers through the other areas of major research as well, so that you can form your own conclusions about the healthiest dietary pattern. The balanced approach. Although Dr. Davis is personally vegan, he doesn't cherry pick what he presents or overstates the case in his book. Where the research findings are mixed or muddled by industry funded research, for example, on eggs and dairy, Dr. Davis presents an excellent and objective review, at least in my opinion, because his basic point is that whereas the majority of evidence points to a plant-based whole food diet and we know that animal products are necessary and potentially harmful because there's no single important nutrient that we can't also get from plants. We can't say that a purely vegan diet is the only healthful path as the evidence suggests that if the overall diet is whole food plant-based to so let's say 95% and 5% comes from animal products, it won't tip the scale when it comes to health outcomes. If you like this video so far, please make sure to subscribe to my channel right now if you're interested in more nutritional insights and healthy whole food recipes. Let's continue. And this is my personal bottom line after reading this book. With everything I personally already know about nutrition, everything I implemented myself, I can wholeheartedly say that protein, especially animal protein, isn't as healthy as you might thought it would be based on all the marketing and media you have roaming on about protein products and actually eating more whole food plant-based and focusing more on the whole food <laughs> is what's going to add more years to your life as well as support you in your goals. Just a quick random fact on the side, Dr. Duff Gavis himself is a Ironman athlete and with all we know he's following his own advice of course. If you're confused about diet and nutrition and different health claims, this is a book for you. Even if you're well versed in the benefits of a plant-based diet, it can be easy to doubt yourself when faced with smooth talking advocates of the paleo or carnivore diets claiming that saturated fat and cholesterol is is good for you and not harmful for you at all. So even if you don't really believe these claims, you may be unsure about how to refute them in the face of what appears to be scientific evidence. This book will help you to do exactly that, as it even teaches you how to read and even debunk scientific studies. In my eyes, this is an invaluable resource for those of us who are already experiencing the health benefits of eating a plant-based diet, but also to those of us who want to know more about the science behind this diet and be able to explain it convincingly to others so that we can debunk the nutrition myths that have been perpetuated by the meat, dairy and egg industry. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye! Seven hours driving on the